There it is. Okay, this is uh, the Rickenbacker Rescue that I did. Um, it was a 330 originally, and on the inside it said it was a 345 written in there from the factory, and I didn't know anything about Ricks, and this is just a, you know, off-the-cuff kind of video just to show you that the thing plays. It went back together really well. Um, it didn't have any original parts at all except for the nut, and... Uh, everything. It was quite a learning process. I'm not sure what I'm going to play because I don't know how these things are really supposed to sound. So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> the, uh, you know, that's all three pickups. The metal position there. The, uh, bridge pickup. This is the front, uh, the, the uh, neck pickup, and Rick and Bacher's kind of weird. They've got on here, I don't know if you see this, they've got a, a tone and volume for each of the, the middle of the bridge and the neck pickup, and then they have this thing, it's called a blend knob. So basically, uh, this blend knob, supposedly you blend the middle pickup and the neck pickup by turning this. It's like another tone pot. It's just kind of weird. So um, I'm not sure you know what to do with it, but like for example, here's on the neck pickup and then turning the blend knob clear to the off position, you kind of get this. It's, it's uh, kind of like a Hagstrom. I had a Hagstrom. I've never had a Rickenbacker before. And it was, uh, they advertised Hagstroms as having the fastest neck ever. And I think that's because of them being so thin. They're very thin neck. Uh, also, not a wide neck. Um, but anyway, the thing uh, does play nicely. <laughs> pickup so I don't know I think uh, it's gonna be okay I'm gonna play it a play a gig or two with it and see what it's like and see what I think and... Uh, working on this thing so so it sounds pretty good this is a song that I'm working on that uh, friend of mine wrote and uh, it's you know so bear with me I mean you won't think any less of me and you already do that's kind of my motto so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
So anyway, that's uh, that's the rick. It plays. Uh, I like the way it feels. I haven't put a strap on and stood up with it or anything. Uh, I put the Bigsby on there, and, and uh, you know, here's the back of the guitar. There's my uh, Rickenbacker uh, truss rod cover that uh, they won't sell you for love nor money. I don't understand why that is. They'll sell you every every stinking other piece you can buy in here. All Rick toasters, Rick bridge, Rick knobs, Rick pick guard, Rick pots and the whole Marianne, Rick Nuts, they'll sell you that. They'll sell you the tuners, which were Clues and Deluxes. These happen to be the same as the came on the Moserites because I like the ones that load into the top there, like the Telecasters. Um, but it's just kind of silly on that Rickenbacker uh, truss rod cover. Uh, afraid you're going to put it on some Mickey Mouse copy of a guitar, but they won't sell you one even if you're uh, can genuinely bona fide show that you really are have restored like a 1963 to 66 real Rickenbacker, which is what this is. The truss rod cover is one of the easiest things to copy on a whole stupid guitar. So I don't know what the deal is, but Rickenbacker's doing well. And I think, anyway, they're still the only one that makes guitars 100% in the United States. And uh, the few I've played, I've liked, and I think I'm going to really like this one. So, on that note, here we go. That's it.